Alright, what's good, what's good, what's good? It's rap mythology, the reincarnation of Ramakrishna, Ayoka Empath, bringing that brand new flavor in here. Alright, so we're talking about making your altar, you know what I'm saying? Making an altar and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You're not messing with religion, you woke up now, you're trying to get more spiritual and whatnot. One of the first things you want to do is make your altar, make an altar in your crib. So what the altar symbolizes is your connection with the divine, right? So internally, you establish a connection to the divine. So externally on some feng shui shit, <laughs> you want to create an altar that symbolizes your connection to the divine. My first altar was a wooden windowsill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, there's no rules to this. Sh so you wanna um, you wanna find some things that are like uniquely spiritual to you. Maybe some um, deceased relatives. You could put some pictures up there. Anything that symbolizes spirituality to you, you wanna put this on your altar. I had like a few pine cones, some rocks, and like some candle holders on my altar. My first one. Now, depending on what situation you win, like your parents might um they might be religious and might not approve of you having such a thing like a spiritual altar you might live with people you know what i'm saying and you can't make an altar so what you want to do is make what's called a shoebox altar you know what i'm saying or you want to make an altar that you can hide with a shoe a shoe box is usually a good way to do it right so when you open the shoe box you know, you could write have a, however you want to write. You want to make it like a mini church or whatever inside your shoebox. To whatever relates to you or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Your pictures of your ancestors or whatever. Whatever type of symbols that relate to you or whatever that you can identify with. Draw it all up. You know what I'm saying? Glue it. Make it a little art project and make a, try to make a shoebox altar. You know what I'm saying? That you got kind of hide or keep on the low. And then when you want to go do your magic, you want to go talk to your ancestors or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You want to say your prayers, pull out your shoebox altar, open up the lid, boom, you got your little mini church or whatever right there in front of you. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing to do for people that's living in a situation where you just can't make an altar for everybody to see because people around you um, are not aware of that type of, are not aware of spirituality. You understand what I'm saying? There's no rules when it comes to making your altar. A lot of systems have rules. Like you, your altar has to face to the east. And you know what I'm saying? Your altar has to... You can't have sex in front of your altar. All of these are theories. They're not proven to be wrong or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? And there's no rules when it comes to your altar. You know what I'm saying? So now you want to do some type of protection work. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing your altar right you don't want to when you make your altar you're kind of well, it's also like a portal from the spiritual to the physical right so you know your own demons might start to come through i got this story about how i encountered one of my own demons or whatnot when i first made my altar i had a dream i understand what the dream is now but back then i didn't you know what i'm saying i had this dream that i encountered a demon and shit you know what i'm saying when i first made my altar and the altar was in the dream you know what I'm saying? So I walk in my room, and when, you, when I walk in that room, like the first thing you see is my altar. You see that windowsill or whatever. There's a window when you first walk in. So I'm in the dream, you know what I'm saying? I walk in the room, I'm looking at the altar, and there's something on the ceiling right there. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't really see what it was, but I could hear it snarling. I could feel that there was something crawling like on the ceiling. But I couldn't really see anything. I heard the snarl. I heard like the kind of like the footsteps on the ceiling. And I could feel his presence there, right? You know what I'm saying? In the dream. So I'm looking up. Then all of a sudden, the shit jumped on me. Bam! You know what I'm saying? And I'm fucking on the floor. Rolling on the floor. Rolling with the demon. Fighting with the shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm on the floor fighting the shit out of this fucking demon and shit. Rolling around and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fighting the shit out of myself, son. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then I woke up and shit. But I realized um, the dream symbolized me fighting my own demons. And, you know, once I made this altar, I would start, you know what I'm saying, battling my own demons. So when you make your altar, this is your initiation into the mystery school systems. You understand what I'm saying? Your 
when you make your altar, it's your initiation into the mystery systems. And this is how you um, manifest your connection to the divine or how you, how you have it symbolized. As you have your connection to the divine internally, your altar is what it symbolizes, um, is the same thing symbolized externally, all right? So we're going to leave that one there, the reincarnation of Ramakrishna, Ayoka Empath, Rap Mythology, bringing that brand new flavor here, all right? Peace.